Hey, a pleasant special Monday, everybody. A pleasant good week. I hope you're all having a good start to your week. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be on last night's game between the Kansas City Chiefs and Buffalo Bills, where it was absolutely a whirlwind of a game and a crazy ending from 154 to the zero mark. There was four different score changes, and then, of course, we'll get to the OTTD. That was a good throw to Travis Kelsey. Um, to be able to win it for the Kansas City Chiefs and Andy Reid, who a big part, first and foremost, please continue to scrub down below above on these, use widgets to help us get to 200 by the end of February. But let's get into it. The big part of why the Chiefs won this game, my very good buddy mentioned it when we were on PlayStation last night. Um, and, I mean, it's just quite obvious because you're not used to seeing Andy Reid have his timeouts and clock manage great. Was Andy Reid actually keeping his timeouts? He did it at the end of the first half, and then having it be there at the end of the game is what allowed them to make it 36-36 and move down the field to tie it up with that field goal and be able to um, do that there. Um, so, obviously, Gabriel Davis, he was the player of the game for the Buffalo Bills. Obviously, Josh Allen played a very good game. Overall, to get the ball to Gabriel Davis, he run rough shot. He played a great game overall. So... Obviously, he too, in a losing effort, excuse me, as a game, as a player of the game for the Bills as well as Gabriel Davis. But Davis, that one play that they caught the touchdown, two of the Chiefs players kind of collided and tripped each other. I think it was a play he caught it in the middle when Allen got blitzed and he threw it up and Davis made the nice catch. But that other play when he made the really nice touchdown, when he came from the outside and broke more towards the inside and caught the deep touchdown in the end zone. That play, he completely burned the ankles of that defender. That dude was on the ground. I mean, Gabriel Davis uh, came to play in this game. Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough for the Buffalo Bills, um, and they were not able to get the W, but you you, you can't fault um, Gabriel Davis for that. The, the, the man had 201 yards and four freaking touchdowns. Beasley did good with 60 yards as well. Um, and then Knox didn't really have much of an impact minus that one catch he had. You would have liked to see more of an impact from Dawson Knox, so it wasn't all on one guy, and Gabriel Davis Diggs didn't do anything either. Um, you would like to have more of an impact from those guys. He had that one nice catch he fought for the first down, but minus that, he was pretty unnoticeable in yesterday's game. But Gabriel Davis, Josh Allen were big. I think a reason why the Bills, though, were not necessarily able to get over the hump other than the fact that their defense was just letting them come right back down both teams defenses were it's ridiculous to allow that many points to think about it. it's exciting to watch as a fan offensively but ridiculous to think about it from a defensive perspective of allowing that many points under the two minute mark on both sides um so that's a that's a ridiculous thing in itself but the re other reason the bills lost this game is they didn't have enough people show up it was all the josh allen and um gabriel davis show um where singletary did good on the first drive but then he kind of took a back seat and didn't really do anything for the rest of the game. Um, so it was really a two-man show for the Buffalo Bills, and they did great. They got them to the end. It looked like they were going to get them the win, but then the Bills' defense couldn't get it done again. Andy Reid was smart to keep his timeouts. They are able to go down the field. They are able to tie it up with the field goal. And then in overtime, they, of course, throw that very nice to the outside where only Travis Kelsey could – Catch it wasn't really necessarily an over the shoulder, it was an over the shoulder would be like this, but more just to the like middle to the middle of your body to the outside where only Travis Kelsey could catch it, or it's just gonna get missed and go out of bounds. Throw by Patrick Mahomes to be able to win it. Buckner tied it with three seconds left. Who got jinxed by the announcers big time yesterday with the whole field goal percentage thing being second to Justin Tucker, and then he had misses, but then came up big in the biggest moment, so that's all that matters, right? Um Tyreek Hill had a good day. Um, Nicole Harmon had a good day um, for the Cincinnati Bengals. And, of course, Patrick Mahomes went off with 378 and three touchdowns, uh, 33 for 44. And Mahomes also had 69 rushing yards. And Edward Tolaire also did good with 60 rushing yards. Um, and then Hill and Kelsey both did great, 150 for Hill, 96. Um, for Kelsey and Jarek McKinnon, 54. He's the wild card. He's the guy usually in playoffs you always see, not for every team, but at least for – some teams you tend to see in every sports playoffs, those guys that emerge unexpectedly, whether they are former good players, of course, that that, that is the case. McKinney once got a big contract from San Francisco, but then he had an injury. Or they are somebody that just emerges out of the woodwork 
like Corey Clement did for the Eagles in the Super Bowl. Jarek McKinnon has been wonderful for this team and has been a great um, addition to this team as a veteran that's been able to come in, hasn't even got a lot of regular season reps, and then is doing his thing in the postseason. But to wrap up this video, the Chiefs, um, they won this game because Patrick Mahomes was baller. He always figures out a will and a way, and he did. Their offense was absolutely baller. They're going to need their defense to be significantly better next week, but their offense was absolutely baller. And third was because Andy Reid, and foremost, honestly, was because Andy Reid actually clock managed in that time. That's the end of both halves. That's unheard of for Andy Reid. The Bills lost this game for the biggest three reasons of, you would think Stefan Diggs and the Dawson Knoxes of the world and Devin Singletary after one drive when he's been doing better of late would be more noticeable in this game, but it was just a Gabriel Davis and Josh Allen show. You can't be a two-man show, so they lost for that reason. Their defense has been significantly better this year. It was obviously for both teams piss poor in this game, so bad defense and management uh, is the reasons uh, they lost as well. And then third for the Bills is, um, is the fact that that th they just couldn't stop. I mean, that they just couldn't grab any momentum type thing for for them. Once they once they started going up, they allowed the Chiefs to just come back and back and back again. Like like I said at the end of the game, it's ridiculous for both defenses to allow that many points. But once you go up, it's really ridiculous if you're Buffalo at the end that once you go up with only 17 seconds left. You still, even though, yes, I credit Andy Reid immensely for having the two timeouts left, but you still, with 17 seconds left, really shouldn't let an offense, if you're a defense that for most of the season has been pretty solid as the Buffalo Bills to really good, you, you shouldn't let an offense just get down to tie a field goal. I mean, this was great offensive play in the last couple of minutes. It was the most exciting game I ever watched, honestly, in my 25 years. Um, of watching uh, football, not not 25 years, because I, but, but in my 25 years on earth and watching football, it's the most exciting uh, game I've watched around at the end, but it was terribly played defensively, and the Bills could have won this game if their defense just stepped up that last time. It didn't, and then the Chiefs didn't even need their defense to step up again because they got the ball and immediately scored in overtime. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please you can describe down below or up above them the easy to use widget. I hope everybody stays safe out there. Enjoy the rest of the NFL playoffs. I'll be doing more videos on the NFL playoffs uh, throughout them, and as well as I'll be doing the JB and Steel show, which will come out tomorrow or Wednesday on my channel, and will come out on Steel's channel most likely tomorrow. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.